Okay. Cassandra, how are you doing? What is that? Oh, that's that's the stuff. Penny, for your thoughts? It is good to see you, my friend. We're just talking in general now. Could we have... We couldn't have talked to people about this earlier, right? I don't think so. It's just kind of weird because we come back and we have a dead guy and now we're talking about casual stuff. I hear you've been rebuilding the Seekers. Slowly, but yes. I managed to find a few of my former comrades who'd scattered to the winds. Some of them were unsuitable, and I did not ask them to return. Others felt as I did once they read the Lord Seeker's tome. We've since recruited a few candidates who are going through training now, with full disclosure. What comes after this, I cannot be certain. I'm making it up as I go along. <laughs> Sounds familiar. I thought you'd appreciate that. So what do you think of the Chantry? You ask me just to poke at me and see if I react, don't you? It is what it is. Most Holy's reforms are interesting, to say the least. I hope they last once Liliane is gone. Regardless of what I think, it could have been far worse. You and I both remember the dark times we faced. Sadly, others have far shorter memories. At least Liliana is a known quantity. We both know her, we know what kind of person she is. She, even if you don't agree with her methods, I think we all have the Chantry's and Thetis' best interests at heart. What do you think of the Exalted Council? They are frightened of your power, and there is no longer a hole in the sky to remind them that it was needed. They might be right. Do not say that near them unless you want to give them the scent of blood. Even so, I would wait and see where this leads. Karma heads may yet prevail. When has that ever been the case? I'm an optimist. Just ask Varric. You and Varric have been getting on pretty nicely, huh? You mention him a lot. I'll see you later. Farewell. Um... Now that we got a new ability with our hand, <laughs> I'm even more powerful than before, I guess. Not sure people really enjoy that. So can we at least figure out what... where we were earlier? Was that in Orle? Was that in Ferelden? We don't even know anything about that. Hmm. If we want to investigate... That means uh, I mentioned going back to the crossroads, right? So we're going back to the Alluvian, I guess? Well, there's plenty of stuff for us to look at for now. Everyone's doing good here. Oh, do I need to sell stuff? Not really. Need me for anything? You're more comfortable being called by your real name now. Comfortable? Not quite yet. I didn't want to be Rainier for such a long time. To be quite frank, he was an ass. But he's... I've changed. And reclaiming my name has allowed me to reconnect with people I haven't seen in years. Family. It wouldn't have happened without you. Small steps. It's nice to have everyone back in the same place again. <laughs> I have to admit, I missed it. What does it mean when we need a huge diplomatic talk or the world ending just to bring us together? I got the chance to have a few drinks with Sarah. Miss that girl. It's still a little awkward talking to Cassandra. But the commander appears to have forgiven me, finally. I'm glad to hear that. Hmm, I'm glad. What do you think's going to happen at the Exalted Council? Maker, I have no idea. Politics always makes my head spin. The Inquisition shouldn't have to give in whenever some prissy noble gets their knickers wedged somewhere. We don't even have time to think about this for now. Until later. Take care. Depending on how this pans out though, maybe we can use this as a way to say, Hey, we are needed after all. And then we can start from there. This is still Sarah stuff. It's the same stuff as before. 
Yeah. Wait, 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 wait. There's some new stuff? Illuvians and ruins. Ruins can get off. Kunari and elfy things? Makes sense. Things. Elfy gods aren't even demons. Weird or worse? Someone tell the servants? They seem off. A drawing of the last mural from the ruins, unfinished. Not my hurt to keep. Is she alright with the elfy stuff? Scratched out. It's alright. Maybe. Be there anyway. Oh, thanks. She's talking about me. There's There are many empty pages and then one that is dog-eared. When wonder we where wanders whittle? Words. The outline of a sketch of Dagna smiling. This one is taking some time. She and Dagna seem to get on well too. Yeah, we finished. Her name is different now. Victoria. The old name slips away further each time. She's glad you're here. Oh, that makes me so sad. That's sad to hear. He died in the darkness so a blue rose could bloom. Oh? Okay. The guardian spirit stayed, not bound, but biding, because he asked. He knows how to speak, so spirits listen. Are you talking about Solus, potentially? You're talking about the mage who awoke the spirits at the ruins. She killed the girl to save herself. She thinks about the eyes going black. A weapon is an order, not a gift. Hmm. The spirits have fled, flying, fluttering, fast to the farthest fade. They're afraid of the veil tearing again. They don't want that either? They don't want to come over? It was the same boy. His mother on the ship, his father in their homeland. He grew up lonely. Or didn't. Being this, being me, it's harder, but better. I like me. Meriden laughs at things I say. You guys are so in sync. Whenever I talk to you, she stops playing stuff. Barefaced but free, frolicking, fighting, fierce. He wants to give wisdom, not orders. If you leave and come back, the chest gives you another. That's how we know too much. Okay. His friend had to die because he thought they were people. A slow arrow breaks in the sad wolf's jaws. They made bodies from the earth, and the earth was afraid. It fought back, but they made it forget. Have you considered writing poetry, Cole? Or contributing to Meriden's lyrics? He broke the dreams to stop the old dreams from waking. The wolf chews its leg off to escape the trap. I... <laughs> Hello. Oh, this does end. Sometimes the cow oh. takes your gold. Never mind. Hello. He did not want a body, but she asked him to come. He left a scar when he burned her off his face. I have no idea what he's talking about for half of these situations, Hello. at least. I think we're starting to run out. It always had a soul. The question is the answer. Legion? Is that a Mass Effect reference? Hello. <laughs> Hello. Does Hello? this unit have a soul? Okay, now we finally exhausted it. Home. Ooh, okay. Oh, this is the, the sketch that we picked up in the, the crossroads? There's a fountain here. Isn't that just the middle section? Right. Right, 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 right. We had this going on. The one that you're talking about, isn't it just right here then? This fountain? It's right there. And then the two two women. And then on the back of that, two women. There's another fountain with two women. It's probably on the other side then. Oh, it's right there. We'll go check it out in a sec. I'm gonna talk to Josephine first. It looks like if we want to continue on, we're going... Ooh. Huh. I thought that was new or something. That little red thing on the statue. Oh. Is it in the area, the room that was barred to us? Maybe. Hey, the people, those people are gone. 
I'm glad to see you safe after venturing into the crossroads. I do not have to tell you to be careful, my love, but... Tell me, these strange spaces past the Alluvians, are they safe to explore? If I said yes, would you believe me? We're taking every precaution we can, Josephine. I will take your word for it. And yet, you've accomplished so much in the calm of these past years. I wish you did not have to imperil yourself for us. Again. Somebody has to. I won't take unnecessary risks. I have someone far too important to come back to. And she will be happy for your return. Be safe, my lady. Please. I will do what I can here. Once the Canary are dealt with, brace yourself. The Council is just as relentless. Hard job for Josephine too, thank you. Kinda like it though. Inquisitor is dealing with the, the combat stuff and then Josephine is dealing with the courtly stuff. Hello, my love. Power couple if I've ever seen one. Hmm. I'm glad the Exalted Council is not immediately getting super mega pissed at us. I'll... I guess I'll check out the above section right now. Where... Hold up. Is there... Nobody was here though, in the above section. I think the door below us is where we're supposed to go. <laughs> if we still had to worry about the court approval stuff, I'd lost... I'd have lost so much by now. <laughs> Missing servant. Notes carried back and forth by runners, covered in different handwriting. This is unacceptable. I was to wear the red cape with the chevrons today, but no one can find it in the wardrobe, which appears to be in five different places at once. Send Melise to me immediately. S. I haven't seen Melise all day, uncle. She disappeared after setting out the bedclothes last night. One of the palace maids had to help me into my luncheon dress. E. Elena, you let some sticky-fingered scullery wretch lace up your Montfort silk gown? Have one of the footmen look for Melise and tell him to lay a few stripes on that elf's backside when he finds her. S. Elven servants? Sarah said the, s the servants were acting kind of weird. Elven servants are acting kind of weird? Was there something you needed? Is there any news from Ferelden? How is your family? My sister Mia keeps me informed. As I understand, she's training my nephew to best me at chess. <laughs> all good news then. Not all, but most of it is, and that's good enough. Is there anything I should know? We were permitted soldiers here, but our every move is watched. Some things never change. Well, the meeting is to talk about how we have too much power, so understandable. Do you remember the first time we came to the Winter Palace? All too well. I've already answered a half dozen questions about my personal life. The reason <laughs> we're here is because we made a difference. That's worth enduring the political small talk. Thank you, Colin. Have you had a chance to speak with Leliana? Away from work, I mean. Some, yes. Leliana has kept in contact, unofficially of course, but it's good to see her again. Arguing with her in person is far more satisfying. <laughs> I should go. Inquisitor? You're not scared she'll cut off your tongue? I suppose that's a good thing. Liliana. Wager notes. Notes carried back and forth by runners. Have you seen Ambassador Montelier trying to cool everyone's tempers after the Inquisitor ran out of the Exalted Council? M. Um, the Gaul! Lavellan has some nerve, L. Have you noticed the runners of the Divine's quarters? Everyone is demanding the most holy address the affront, A. Eh? If anything, the Inquisitor's actions strengthened Ferelden's position. Arl Tegan is fuming, L. Lord Cyril won't let him push. This is as good as sealed, my friends, M. We'll see. We better have a explanation for all this later on. Divine Victoria? <laughs> Please don't. It would be nice to just be Liliana again for a few days. <laughs> As you command, most holy. <sighs> <laughs> I'm sorry. That was hard to resist. How are things between you and the hero of Ferelden? <sighs> we see each other whenever we can. There is gossip, of course. People will call me inappropriate. But love is one of the Maker's greatest gifts. 
and nothing to be ashamed of. Start and end with love, and everything else falls into place. As Divine, I have tried to spread this message. It's taken some time, but I think people are listening, especially now. I'm thinking about how Liliana has affirmed, again, how she never took the vow. <laughs> she might have taken the vow already in the past 10, 12 years or so. Are Divine's revered mothers normally allowed to have partners? I don't know. I have kids, all that stuff. Liliana doesn't seem to care. She's doing whatever. <laughs> have your agents any news I should hear about? There is activity in the Tirashan. Strange elves, like those at the Temple of Methal. No news of Solus, however. We know that Fen Haral is Solus, but nobody here knows yet. So nobody has made that connection. Or will make that connection. Do you miss being our spy master? I think I miss the people more than the work. Josie, Cullen... I didn't notice how much I liked having them near until they weren't. We're right, of course, but it's not the same. That's what Cullen said, too. Mm, you're so busy these days, though. Tell me about your nugs. Did you get any new ones? Oh, yes! Elita was born just a month ago. We are weaning them right now. If you are hoping for one, I'm afraid they're already spoken for. Is this supposed to be kind of like uh, how Queen Elizabeth is... Uh, didn't she like really love corgis and she had a million of them? Perhaps later, Leliana. I'll be right here if you need anything. Mm. Hopefully we'll get this all sorted out sooner rather than later. There is a thing here. A ruined picnic. Quenel, now that you mention it, that elf hanging about the tavern does look familiar, but I can't imagine why she would have been at your cousin's wedding. Perhaps she was one of the servants attending on Duke Verne after he slipped into the mud pond and onto that wasp's nest at the picnic? Maker, I'm still not sure how that happened. <laughs> People just leaving random notes lying around here. Darling, what can I do for you? I wanted your opinion of how Divine Victoria is working out. Leliana is managing to hold the Chantry together, just barely. Likely your influence. You mean the just barely part or the other way around? I'm, I'm making her do worse. How are things for the Circle of Magi? If you call it the Circle while they're in earshot, you'll never hear the end of it, my dear. The College of Enchanters is a ridiculous mess. But it's still a useful institution for training mages. <laughs> we don't have a circle anymore. We'll talk another time. Well, we gotta start somewhere with the changes. Hmm. There might be something here. Better take a closer look. What are you talking about now? I don't... There's no glowing circle though, what do you mean? Is it this person again? This is the third time we've seen this person. What am I- what? 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 Find the Harlequin, one. Oh! Okay. I guess we were supposed to like, catch him or something? Yeah, because I noticed that happened, like, the other time, too. It said, hey, there's something around here, but then there's no circle. Which means that it's probably the person that's around, not an actual object we were supposed to pick up. I don't know what that was about, though. Is that just a random flower up top? Yes, it is. Okay, pretty quiet here. Uh, there's a book, but we've read it already. Always afraid to mingle. Well, your lesions can be brutal. How are you, Dorian? I'm still so sorry about your dad. Good to see you, my friend. Hmm. What is this ambassadorship about, exactly? 
I believe my father set it up, but the Imperium certainly didn't object. They'd love for the Inquisition to fall apart, so they're happy if it seems they consider this council a waste of time. That makes no sense. No? If Dread to Vinter actually pushed for the Inquisition's end, everyone else would disagree on principle. <laughs> so they send a nobody pariah and hope for the best. Makes perfect sense to me. That's a little bit. It does make sense, though. Any thoughts about the Exalted Council? A few. Divine Victoria needs a new tailor for one. From the <laughs> paintings of Liliana in that enormous robe, you'd think she was pregnant. Could cause a delicious scandal. <laughs> As for this whole Exalted Council business, well... I warned you once that no one would thank you for saving the world. Sadly, I'm always right. So long as the Inquisition's around to remind them they're not really in charge, they'll never sleep comfortably. Whether they have the guts to take action, I suppose we'll see. Yeah, that's kind of crazy, actually, if you think about it like that. We save the world, and the first thing you want to do is make us assimilate or make us disband. I guess they gave us a two years grace period, and that's plenty long. What did you do in Tevinter while you were away? I went home. Twice. Father was only there once. Mother was drunk both times. I also went to Carinus to see my good friend Mayveris. Then I settled some of Alexius's affairs. That wasn't fun. Oh, we haven't had time to talk about Alexius since all that stuff that happened a long time ago. You're feeling better about him now. Things are going well with the bull, I take it? He's happy I've returned, if that's what you mean. Nearly crushed three of my ribs with that ridiculous hug. You say that as if you didn't like it. For such a great beast, he's a terrible sap. I want to talk about my feelings, Dorian. <laughs> Ugh. <laughs> you do like it. Quiet, you. He'll over here. And then where will I be? <laughs> I'll bring you right over there. Another time. I look forward to it. You guys are standing so far apart. He's at the, the pub thing right now. You should go talk. Especially since it's been so long since you've talked. Is that everybody? No? Thought I saw something glinting in the waterfall. We still gotta check out the fountain. Feels like there's stuff everywhere. In Trespasser. Any of the ambassadors want to talk, or do they just want to get mad at me? No, they're not here. Wouldn't it be appropriate, huh? We were supposed to talk Watch in the <sighs> meeting and all. Maker. So we have these other fountains here, but the one we want to look at is the one with the two ladies. Which is this one. You see it already? This should be easy. We were just there earlier. Collecting these... What are these? Hala statues? Okay. We'll handle this. I think that's it. Yeah. Well, maybe let's get going then, huh? We really should be investigating the Kunari plot. Always a to mingle. Didn't really check this side. Any hidden notes? More conspiracy theories? About how the breach is not real and all that? No? So it's right there. You can see it already. What is the Inquisition playing at? We're playing at nothing. We saved the world and all that, you know? Encore schematic. Whatever that's for. Because I've been paying so much attention to the schematics around here, huh? Okay. Let's see if I'm right. Is it this place? Yes. You have the Alluvian here, or what? <gasps> Hard in Hightown, Chapter 16. Done and left the tavern and headed out through a moonless night. Fog clung to the streets and buildings like cobwebs, and the heavy air threatened rain. Any other night? He would have gone straight up to the barracks, but he had appointments to keep. The keys at midnight exchanged a cacophony of swearing sailors for the mournful sound of distant bells in the harbor. Donnan found Wagner and his two thugs waiting just out of sight of the harbor master's office. In the fog, 
Wagner's white samite coat made him gleam like a smug moon. Mr. Branikovich, I trust you've brought my merchandise? Wagner smiled. Beside him, the tattoo Jason cleaned what might have been blood from his nails with his dagger. I think in the previous chapter, we told the Chasen guy, Hey, I've got your sword. Tell your master to come meet me. Donham reached into his coat and pulled out a small, cloth-wrapped bundle. We should discuss a few things first. Wagner's eyes gleamed in the reflected light of his paunch. The price, of course. He gestured to the scarred Ander, who held up a bag of coins. One hundred crowns should suffice, yes? That depends. Donham toyed with a twine securing the bundle's wrapping. You killed Magistrate Dunwald, didn't you? After my run-in with your friends here, I realized the only blade that could have made that kind of a stab wound was your chasen stone knife. Wagner shrugged. Men die all the time, Sarah. We should not let that unpleasantness get in the way of business. Another gesture, and the Anders strode forward to stand just inches away from Donnan, brandishing the bag of gold like a flail. And Javelin? Donnan asked. I know nothing of your partner's fate. Donnan handed over the bundle, and the Ander dropped the bag at his feet to deliver the prize to his boss. Wagner eagerly unwrapped the bundle, revealing an ancient, rusty, and pitted short sword. He frowned. This is not the blade. Both Chasen and Ander drew their daggers. Donnan held his ground. Pity you killed Dunwald for it, then. <laughs> you think I'd kill a magistrate and not a guardsman? Wagner laughed. Unwise, Sarah. That's all we needed to hear. Captain Hindalen stepped around the corner behind Donnan a dozen guards with her. For the first time in months, he saw what might have been a smile on her face. Good work, guardsman. We'll take it from here. Oh, so it was a guy. This weird dude wanted the sword of Hesarian so badly that he would kill the guy who has a sword collection for it. And then Jevlin wanted to give the sword for money, I guess. And they were waiting for that one confession. You'd think I'd kill a magistrate and not you? That sealed his fate. What a dummy. Nice job, Donnan. Okay, is there anything else around here? Let me just have a quick... Cassandra, yep, 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 we talked to everybody around here. I'm pretty sure... Yep, let's go. Oh. Who should I bring this time? Well, Iron Bull's not really gonna give us new information, but it doesn't mean we can't bring him. Mmm, wanna do Dorian? <laughs> Iron Bull, Dorian, Varric? I'm a little bit wary of this combination, though, because the banter seemed to be exhausted the last time we had it. Um. Okay, let's bring Cassandra. Can she get a redemption arc? From, you know, all the elf hating and all that. Whoa! What the hell? Hey, Ben Abasto Hassot. Hmm. Guess they didn't feel like talking. That path wasn't there before. It changed. The place changed. Did it change? This thing is still here. Oh. Okay. <laughs> I collected a bunch of statues and put a top hat on him. All right, sounds good. Hmm. That means that potentially some other stuff has changed too. Maybe we should be on the lookout Whoa. again. If we can take everyone to the crossroads at least once, that'd be kind of nice. Just make sure our entire party knows what it's like. This part? I'm just gonna have a brief glance. Yeah, okay. No more blood here, it's all dried up. Wonder what this thing is, though. I was wondering if this is related to the place that we were going to, the Elven Ruins. So this is the other one, and then now we have, we have a new spot here. They seem pretty comfortable using the crossroads then, if they were just gonna be wandering around. What's this? There's a hand. What, that's it? All right, let's see where they were going. This thing has a handprint on it. You don't want to put your hand on it? Oh. Oh. So that's how the Kunari moves the paths. Oh. oh, hold on, what? 
Oh, but this depends on me walking. What the heck? Isn't that a little bit different from their method then? They seem to have moved an entire- Whoa, okay. Oh, wow. I guess we're checking out this side first. Sure. What the heck? This place is even weirder than I imagined. Somebody died here. You know, the Kunari don't usually... I don't know, we don't know too much about their involvement in worldly matters, so to say, but now it's suddenly... Kunari are just crossing Look the out. crossroads all willy-nilly. Oh, Revenants. Maybe let's try this. Yeah, that gives us some invincibility, right? People don't get hurt. That would be good. I'm pretty sure these extra rooms are mainly gonna be getting extra items and all that. Dorian! You gotta help me cast barrier too. Come on. We're missing a rogue today, so I'm really hoping we don't run into any locked doors. But historically, nothing plot relevant has been hidden behind these doors, so that's good. Dorian, don't get hurt here. Wow, the focus comes back often enough that I can use the um, discharge more than once in a battle. Maybe also because these battles are kind of long too, but Dorian is really taking hits left and right. Are these guys... Fire vulnerability. Spirit vulnerability. Let's go. Yes! Oh, 4,000. You like that? I'm just gonna keep getting them. There's only two of these dudes here, right? I can't see. There's so many effects going on here. Can keep using the effect. Damn, three times in one battle. Come on, dudes. Time to die. Even Iron Bull is losing health. Should we be focusing on one? Because I feel like our attention's kind of split right now. Maybe that's why they're, they're both going down. But if one went down earlier, then the whole thing would go a bit faster, probably. 4,000! Almost dead. Let me get in. Here we go. Am I the only one attacking this one? It feels like the rest of you guys are attacking the other one. Actually, Iron Bull's not doing anything. He's just stuck here. Periodically, that just seems to happen to people, huh? Come on, let's go, let's go. It's a matter of sooner or later, so you might as well die now. Thank you. Revenant Heart. Purple Loot. The bind that guides. Plus 10% critical chance. Oh, is it in the same set as the... the, the other one that I gave Iron Bowl? No matter how loosely this belt is tied, after a few steps, it warps itself snugly around the waist. The stitching, while fine, is of a strange thin thread that resembles hair and can't be cut with even the sharpest knife. Okay. Notes on methods of enchantment. Notes on the third attempt. Two enchantments whose matrices should have meshed caught. The combustion caused such damage it broke several previously forged pieces. There is now a resonance between them, however. And light on my thoughts. An enchantment linked in tandem as the neck turns the head or the wrist twists the hand? I have no idea what they're talking about. They're doing some research on enchantments here. Is this supposed to be a really good set? Maybe I should be wearing it for myself. Especially since I'm, I've been getting kind of tired of the invisibility stuff. Moldy journal. Mold and rot have eaten most of the pages of these books. The remaining vellum is covered in spiky handwriting with spelling that is either archaic 
wildly idiosyncratic or both? Saw Yid cross from the Volka that which draggeth souls down to Yid's larder in the brine dark. His beast prayeth on humble wits and gold sworn, even, and the tower's keeper declares I will rest here if it would ease me. The elven, which pulled me grip up from my end, kens he is the last of his kind. I made it known elven lives south like, but he says it would not be as it was, and I said that's ever true, and he laughed lark like. Come dark, he showed me a mirror deep strange, an alluvian sworn to be in his family for. This sounds like it was written a long time ago then. Where are we? We never know. Forgotten Tower. How forgotten? Do the mirrors always bring us to another physical location? Or we don't know much about the rules of this kind of thing at all. So it's kind of a little bit spooky overall. What are my accessories right now? You know what? Let's try giving the whole thing to myself then. Superb belt of health. The bind that guides. And then I'll take the other one off Iron Bowl again. Just to have a set. Sorry, man. I'm just gonna... Um, maybe I'll give you health. Do you need health? More health is always good. And then I'll give you back the original Ring of Critical Damage. Thank you. And then the hand that cuts. The bind that guides. Does anyone want my invisibility ring? The Ring of Doubt? Hmm. Maybe not anybody here? Give it a Dorian? Okay, he can try it out. See how that goes. Attack. Guard penetration or attack. We'll go with attack for now. Okay, we can stop being invisible now, Wellens. Although it was kind of nice. Especially since we walk as the first person. Oh, there's Dorian. Yeah, it was nice to bypass people being invisible, but it's okay. We've had that for quite a while now. What the heck is going on here? This place is so... So if I... Uh, I can't just walk off to the sides? Nope. It's got a predetermined road. And that's that. There's another one here. Get the feeling we'll be in these crossroads for quite a bit. First of all, what does trespasser even mean? Trespassing? Someone intruding in a place they shouldn't be? How about people using the Illuvians? That's a kind of trespassing. Oh, the mirror works from both sides? Oh, that's actually kind of weird. Well, it doesn't actually work from both sides, but you can see it. You can see a reflection on both sides. Ooh. Stuff? Hmm, you know what that means. Ready, guys? Oh, now Dorian won't follow me because he's invisible. Watch out! Well then, get ready, Dorian. Whoa! Okay, despair demons. Your resistance is fire. Fire vulnerability. Whoa, do they normally just jump around like that? Spell that guy. Ah, oh, the, the rage demon is gonna make it a little bit harder for me to use emulate here because emulate's good for the despair demon, but not the rage demon. Do you guys want to deal with the Rage Demon first then? Just to get rid of it? Yeah, we have the spell again. We have it on Cassandra as well. Thank you. Not for that. Who are you all focusing on? Should we focus on this guy, guys? I think it's generally a little bit more effective to focus on one dude here. Hmm. Ok, 
Okay, okay, I'll give you this. Get the spell the other dude, maybe. Can we? They're just going all over. I can't. Ah, quit it, quit it. Yeah, the dispel. Yeah, those barriers are annoying. I need Cassandra too, then, because Cassandra also has the spell. Spell purge. When is it gonna be back? I need ya. Guys, be careful! I've got this one at half health. If you all wanna help with this one, I think that might be a good idea. Oh, they have so many knockdown types of effects. Just knocking all of us down. Oh, come on, not this again. Look, we're not even at the, the main location yet, and we've used some potions. Gotta be careful. I was hoping Cassandra would have the spell, but not ready. It's not ready. Here we go. Come on, come on, come on. Die. Alright, alright, we got something going on here. Fire. Thank you. Dispel that crap. Yes, fire works best. Ooh, look at all the criticals. Probably because of my new setup with the rings and stuff, and my attack speed's increased, hasn't it? Hello, guys! Why is everyone just... You guys need to help me! Attack, please! Yeah. Just jumps away, like a rogue. I should be using the discharge constantly here. Save a little bit of potions. Make ourselves invulnerable. There we go, thank you. The eye that weeps. Hmm, if I get another piece, I can have higher movement speed. This amulet is heavy for its size, and the metal is clammy and sticks jealously to the flesh. The gem in the center contains a liquid that glowers a sluggish red in bright light. Condensation slowly forms on the gem's outer surface, no matter how many times it's wiped clean. Notes on the second attempt. Elegance eludes me. The aim is to improve the coordination of the body and sharpen the perception of the heart, but graphs do not live long enough to plumb their worth. The current process is ruined. This batch is lost. Begin again. They're trying to work on some kind of ultimate enchantment? He got a whole cheese wheel here. I suppose I'll keep equipping it and see what happens. The eye that weeps. Oh, I really like this one though. Taunt all enemies. I've got to give that to someone else. Katie Caller. Oh, okay. Give it to Dorian then, I guess. Taunt all enemies would be good, too. I guess. Hmm. Yeah, let's see how this goes for a while. So neither of these things were related to the main thing. Now we go back to following the Kunari, who are probably long gone by now. That's okay. We'll be able to find them, right? Deep roads! Those Kunari cons have gotten far. Be ready. Dang, maybe I should have brought Varric here after all. Deep roads? Overlook? Oh, wow. Can't tell how far this is. Kunari? They're already here.
I didn't see what they said because of the... Their name was blocking it. Do they recognize Iron Bull just now? He said we served somebody. Fen... He didn't say Fen Harold, did he? I hope not. Oh yeah, oh yeah. Get them all in a bunch there. Working out well. These guys are pretty weak compared to the people who guard the chests. I mean, he's not even attacking. Maybe that's why. We need to find out what these Kunari were up to. So let's go see, shall we? Where even are we right now, though? Somewhere in the deep roads. We went from being high up to far down below. Because the Elven Mountain, I assume, was pretty high in elevation, and now we're all the way at the bottom. Looks like there was a bad cave in. Bale Quartz. Excuse me, Iron Bowl. Kunari writing. This paper is covered in what appears to be mathematical calculations. An extremely precise and detailed sketch of the wall has been heavily annotated with measured angles, dimensions, and several lines of text in Kunlot. Whatever conclusions were drawn about the measurements are lost. The page has been ripped, seemingly by sharp teeth, and much of the remaining paper is hidden by a hardened layer of dried blood and dust from the cave-in. There's been a cave-in. A whole bunch of them died. So these guys weren't killed by... elves then? There's no elves here. We're in a completely different place. Maybe they'll get killed by dwarves though. Oh. Larium veins. Look at all that. The Kunari have a huge operation here. Yeah, but for what? Mining lyrium. Setting off explosions in an underground ruin. Let no one ever say the Kunari don't live dangerously. Kinda don't want to be here since we were just here with the descent. So they're... But these are warriors, though. They're not mining. What are they doing here? They seem to be circling something. Once again, your mark is glowing. Are you all right? Well, maybe the anchor can make itself useful down here. I hope so. Oh, I thought that was a glowing thing. That's a... The Kunari were definitely up to something. Excavating that cave-in, maybe. Ah, you want me to light up the place and find hidden content? Hidden stuff. I'm supposed to use myself as a light source. What is this? I feel like I've never seen this statue before. A dog? Wolf? Oh, see this kind of statue again. Oh. Just deep stalkers. Yeah, yeah, burn. Dead. No biggie. Just some road pests. Oh. Oh, can you guys deal with that? Are we done yet? No, sorry, I got distracted already. <laughs> well, there's so many. <laughs> Nothing a good old Emily can't solve, right? We're being so loud, I feel like they know we're here. Torn Notebook in the Deep Road, Section 1. Many of these pages are filled with sketches of elven statues matching the ones found in the area, along with notes on what looked like attempts to practice Kunlot. Ebost, you all are. Ebadim, they all are. Ebsam, we all are. If Fenharel truly has agents working against us. Oh, they did say Fenharel earlier then, right? Then the Dreadwolf must be laughing at me. The Blight takes my clan, so I go to Kirkwall. Kirkwall goes to ruin, so I flee to the Kun. Now the Kunari bring me down to the lightless depths. And for what? Because the nursery rhymes I remember from childhood make me an expert on ancient elves. These statues are old, better shaped than anything I've seen on the surface. Many of them are from Mithal, though, and Fenharel. Not in a spot of honor, but guarding, attending. Protector and all mother, why are you honored here, so far from the light of the sun? And why was the dread wolf at your side? 
How desperate are the Kunari to work in these conditions? That's bizarre though. So you're saying those wolf statues might be Fenharal again? And there's statues honoring Mithal down here? In the deep roads? Really? As far as we know, deep roads are primarily a dwarven thing, so that's quite a surprise. But then again, we have read that one note about how the dwarves were digging up and then the elves were digging down and then they accidentally met each other, so elves do dig down apparently. After all the places we have been, I hardly expected to find us in another cave. Come now. This isn't nearly the cleanest cave. Whoa! <laughs> it's the most shaky for sure. Oh, there's stuff below. Hold up. Are they like half excavating the place? I'm trying to figure out where I should be going. This way is nothing. That just lets us look outside. We gotta go this way. Look, someone up ahead. I think he's human. Weird. Stay back. Oh, wait. Your hand. Are you the Inquisitor? Odd to find a human down in the deep roads at all, let alone one surrounded by Kunari. We don't have much time. Please, what the Vidasala is doing, you have to stop her. The Vidasala? That's a high-ranking Bin Hasrath. Specializes in magic. Finding, studying, stopping. Not anymore. I don't care whether you serve Fenharel or not. Someone has to stop her. The Kunari are getting involved with ancient elf stuff for some reason. I'm guessing this human is somebody the Kunari brought down here, just like how the journal mentioned that elf was brought down here. Who are you exactly? My name is Jeren. Sir Jeren, once. I was a Templar in Kirkwall. Until I joined the Kune. Your Kunari? Kirkwall was... Madness. Chaos. The Kunari were like the eye of a storm. I stand for order and discipline. Protecting the innocent from magic. But this plan... It's as mad as Meredith ever was. What exactly is the plan? Why did the Kunari think that the Inquisition serves Fenharel? I don't know. The Vidasala said it and, well, you're Dalish. It made as much sense as anything. We've had agents of Fenharel causing trouble all over the crossroads. Sabotage, making spirits attack us. I assume the Inquisition was their army. That you came here because Fenharel told you to. It kind of makes sense, because I'm an elf. But there are Inquisitors that are not elves. So that doesn't really make much sense in those cases. What is it that you want me to stop? This place is a Lyrium mining and processing center. The Canari need it for... Have you ever heard of Sarabas? Dangerous thing. It's what the Kune calls mages. Even as a Templar, I'd never seen anything like the power Sarabas can unleash. And now Vidasala is giving them Lyrium. A lot of Lyrium. It's part of something she calls Dragon's Breath. That's a load of crap. There's no way the Vidasala would let any Cerebas within a thousand feet of Lyrium. There's more to it than that, but I couldn't find out what. The Canari don't like it when you ask too many questions. It's a good thing we brought Bull here today for the Canari context. What are you doing down here? The Canari wanted me to teach them everything I knew about Lyrium. Where it comes from, everything it can do, how we put it to use. I knew enough from my time in the Order. They figured out more. I'm not sure how. Maybe they got to the Carter. Where are we? Why are there elven mirrors in the deep roads? This place is close to... something like a Lyrium spring. Ooh. The more we mine, the more there seems to be. As for the mirrors, I don't know. Maybe the elves were mining here too. Right off the back of us seeing all the titan stuff, very spooky. The Kunari can't be mining their own Lyrium. It kills anyone who tries, other than dwarves. 
It killed the Canari at first. But Canari workers have a discipline only Tranquil can match. And they're quick learners. They figured it out. Like Operation Dragon's Breath? That's not seriously the name of the plan, is it? Dragon's Breath. You know that most Dragon's Breath destroys everything in its path, right? She said it would save the South. That can mean only one thing. An invasion. This mine is the only source of lyrium the Canari have. They're using Gatlock, the explosive powder in the round casks, to mine, so they don't have to touch raw lyrium. If you get the primers from Central Supply, you can prime the Gatlock and detonate it. The mines will go up in flames. So the Kunari normally despise the Rome Mages, the Cerebas. And the the main Kunari boss here is arming them with Lyrium. Because they might want to invade the south. And then amidst all this, Elven agents of Fenharel are trying to stop them. Okay. Alright, I'll try to stop them here. I doubt my blessing counts for much now, but make a watch over you. Deep stalkers and cavins will cut off reinforcements, but they'll still come when they hear trouble. You've got to find the Vidasala to end this war before it begins. It's fine. There's no telling how bad things will get when I destroy the mine. You'd better get moving. I will. Good luck, Inquisitor. Let's go. We have a Lyrium mine to ruin. Vidasala, let's read about that. That would probably be like a... It's not a character, right? Is it a character? A specific Vidasala? While we still have little information on their methods, our agents have obtained considerable information on Benhasrath, hierarchy, and organizational structure. Strictly speaking, the entire group is under the jurisdiction of the Arakun and would therefore be considered priests. The Kunari divide all Benhasrath activities into three distinct categories, dangerous purpose, dangerous action, and dangerous questions. Three priests form a mini triumvirate that manages all their operations, with each priest presiding over actions in a single category. We have an ongoing mission to identify the leader of the dangerous questions branch, which seems to handle the vast majority of the Kunari intelligence gathering and sabotage missions. Dangerous actions appears to be the branch responsible for enforcement. Their agents almost never leave Kunari-controlled territory, except to hunt defectors. The branch we have the most contact with has been Dangerous Purpose. This division, run by a priestess called the Vidasala, or one who converts purpose, handles the conversion of foreigners, the re-education of Kunari dissidents, and the collection and quarantine of magic. Things that, by Kunari definition, are threats to themselves and others by nature. Our attempts to infiltrate the Kunari re-education camps have largely proven unsuccessful. The Benhasrath are all too good at spotting our agents among their converts. Most spies are sent away with a patronizing remark, and the few who have been admitted to one of their Vidathlok facilities have never reported back. We will instead redouble our efforts to locate and infiltrate one of their Darvarad magical quarantine sites. Charter. They're very accomplished spies. Very good at spotting our people. So conversion of foreigners, re-education of Kunari and a collection and quarantine of magic. The last one is probably why they're here. Lyria Mines. Oh. Wow. That looks really pleasant behind us. Hold up. Oh, I did the wrong one again. Shoot. You, you don't need... Okay. Nobody needs potions. You should probably go, my dude. We're gonna... get the ball rolling. Oh, are you all just trying to leave? You don't want to fight us? <laughs> Man, the combat is always so insanely loud. Can't even hear myself think. Okay. There's more people. What kind of people? No, it doesn't. Are you all trying to leave? We can all leave together. Just kidding. Guess I'm killing all of you. Oh, 
There's just a whole bunch of them, but they're not that strong. We Ooh. saw the Kunari make these things explode. Maybe we can use them to get out of here. You sure about that? Gadlock, yeah? That'll definitely explode. Be careful. Can we look around a little bit first? Uh, how do I get over there? Uh, can I get over there? Is that a thing? From here or elsewhere? Maybe I have to blow this up? Uh. Okay. It shouldn't be this dark. Dwarven buildings are lit by molten rock. That doesn't just go out. That's just the way it is. Ah, we can use the invincibility to get past here as well then, right? Charred note. This note is written in both Common and Kunlot. The letters are shaky. These walls of blue flame were cast by the agent of Fenharel as he ran through this place, bringing chaos and destruction. Do not light fires from them. Do not go near them. Fenharel's mage servant made them to hamper us, and they bring only death. I'm wondering if they think that Fenharel has a mage servant, or is this actually just Fenharel because they didn't expect them to be alive still, because they don't know that. Nobody should know that. Damn! No, I want to get up there. I... Hold up. I'm waiting for the focus to come back. Will this work? It does. Fantastic. Sigil of Highland Ravager. But now... <laughs> climbing down might be a bit of a problem. All that blue is... Oh, it's. I guess it's Illyrium. Sort of stuck here. All right, there we go. That's a weird kind of magic though, huh? What even is it? It's not corrupted lyrium. That's red. Purpley kind of magic. Ancient elf magic. 